Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dynasty Reloaded coming back at you guys, showing you pretty much the little cooldown method. This is going to be a basic cooldown method. This isn't going to be like the pro cooldown method where it works perfectly, but it is going to be a cooldown method to where it works enough for beginners. So as you can see right now with no cooldown method, if people just keep typing in Titan, they'll keep getting the Titan kit. And that's what we do not want to happen. So, first off, we gotta go into our source code. And for this, we're gonna make an array list. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much a string. And first off, we gotta rename it. So we're gonna do array list player. Rename it to cooldown, because we are gonna be using a cooldown method. So equals new array list player. And that's pretty much it for that. Now you gotta import array list. And yeah. So down here, we are going to make an if statement. This is not part of the cooldown, but this is part of a tutorial because if you don't add this part in that I'm about to show you, if you go into a command prompt or somebody ever gets into your command prompt, they can start giving everybody items. If you do this, it's more likely that they won't be able to. Pretty sure they can't. But sender instance of, if I can spell it right, instance of, and then player. And then you can open that up. So what I'm saying, if the sender is not a player, then they will get this message. Sender dot send message. We're going to make a chat color red, because that's supposed to be intimidating, remember dot red plus only players can use that command so we want to return this true so it'll keep running the method and yeah so return true and now for this part we want to rename player just because I don't like having it so long on a tutorial like this so player we're gonna rename it to P so you're gonna have to rename all these to the P and we can make our actual cooldown method so first off you want to do cooldown or no we're gonna make an if statement if cooldown dot contains P and then we're going to make this say P dot actually let's make yeah p, sender we'll make it p p dot send message sorry um chat color dot red plus there is a three day cooldown so now it's gonna be whenever they type this in if they're on the array list then it's gonna say there's a three day cooldown so we can return that true true and we can scroll down so right here we're going to make it to where the cooldown will automatically add the player whenever they use this command so it'll add them to the array list and pretty much if you left it how it is right now they would be put on the array list array list and never be able to get off because they'd always be contained. So we have to add a another code to get this. So bucket dot get server dot get scheduler dot schedule and you want to do delay task. Approach is saying get the server, get the scheduler on the server and delay the task that is trying to run. Which is pretty much Java's fancy way of saying um, timer <laughs> and so first off you want to do the plugin that we're going to be using which is this plugin right here um, runnable so this is going to be a runnable object so new runnable and we are going to make it open up into a, another public void and make the public void say let's see cooldown dot add 
Actually, no. This is going to be remove. Sorry. Remove P. So if you really wanted to, you could add in player.send message chat color dot green plus you can now use kit so pretty much what that's going to say is if the player ever does get that back then they will be able to use the kit again the only problem about this is during the new runnable we have to or since it's going to be a um just part of the string removing somebody off the string you have to make this up here final so next play just put final space and it'll fix everything down here runnable public void okay we got a type runner here sorry about that we had to name the actual public void um so now that we had that all done so it'll remove the player off the um, array list and let them use the command again and now if you really want to you can do p dot send message message chat color dot d yellow just for whatever you are now on all right you now have to wait chat color dot red you know we gotta add the plus back here chat color red three days so that way it'll be yellow you have to wait and then chat color dot red same three days and since this is a string and we have it set as final these chat colors are not gonna work so we're gonna have to do sender that's send message or we can actually use player for that matter player does send message nope we can't p does send message chat color yellow all right let's not even worry about that come to think of it we don't need it it's just gonna be extra space and yeah so now that we got all that set we need to set the time so for the sake of this tutorial I'm only gonna set it to 100 ticks and end it if you don't know what ticks are 20 seconds is in a second all right 20 ticks is in a second sorry so let's export this next and export it all reload now if we open up minecraft type in titan and then titan again oops titan all right so as you can see it took five seconds but let's do this another way let's get rid of all so titan and then titan and you can see there's a three second cooldown but whenever it's done it says you can now use kit so that's kind of a way to say here you go you can use it now if you want three days this is it you kind of have to do the math so three times 24 because there's 24 hours in a day so that would be 72 times 60 minutes times 60 seconds times 20 ticks. After a while, you'll get this for three days. So we can put that one in for here. So 5184000. I believe that was what it was. Yep. And that would be three days. However, there is a way to get around this method. That's why I don't usually like to use this. But this is for beginners. So... So I use Titan. We can wait a few seconds. And it'll actually have the three days on there. Oh gosh, please let me land on water. <laughs> that would be embarrassing to die like that. But now, since we landed in water, and it see it didn't take three seconds or five seconds, sorry. It's gonna take three days of the server being up. But the thing about using an array list for this, they can always exit out of there go back in and type in Titan again and there they go it doesn't take it off you get taken off the array list whenever you sign out which I don't really like accordingly but it does happen there's a way to get around it but that's gonna be the next tutorial is gonna be an advanced array list or not an advanced array list but an advanced cooldown method 
And this one's more for um, beginners. The next one's going to be for novice. And yeah. So remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Rate and comment in. Make me um, realize that you guys like this, um, these tutorials. Comment to tell me what tutorial you want to see next on what um, plugin. And right now I'm more worried about doing the actual methods, showing you guys how to do methods before I'll actually show you how to implement them into each other and make like a game mode or a mini game because those are a lot more advanced than these. And yeah, so subscribing also helps me like motivate me to do videos. I do videos anyways for fun, but also subscribing. If you subscribe and you want to leave a comment on what plugin I should do next, it'll make me do it faster than if they weren't because it'd be like, oh, they're supporting my channel. They deserve this. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great, or a great rest of your day and later.